essentially make your way happiness. This is uh, making a comment. I was, <laughs> uh, I was making a comment. I remember uh, that. I remember that gallery, that exhibit you did, and uh, I just got my camera. Just got. I like, just came to New York, first year in film school. I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna shoot a video." And then that morning, <laughs> I'm like, "Why aren't you? Why isn't this dude picking up? Like, what's up?" I get to your house, and he said, "Dog, you won't believe what happened to me last night." I'm like, what happened, man? He said, "Yo, I got stabbed." <laughs> I was like, "You got what?" Very true. <laughs> he's like, I, got, I was like, "Who's? Why would anybody send to you?" I'm like, "You will, <laughs> man." <laughs> I was like, "Who was that?" Well, and like, I get over there. And he, and, he got the, and he had that smile on his face. He's just like, he's just like, yeah, yeah, you know, he told me the story. Like, that, that ain't even an important part, but I just remember the energy you had. And then you're just like going through the pieces. Like, you didn't, even, you didn't even care about the story. You're just like, yeah. And then I remember you were, we came back to the gallery and you were showing me. You like gave me a little private tour before everybody else came in. And then, uh, you know, I'm a filmmaker, I'm a writer, and then. I just remember that that was my favorite exhibit. That's when I like, yeah, total fan of you because you um, were able to implement these narratives into these pieces, these art pieces that were just like these vague ideas, and then you flesh them out to like full blown story with a plot beginning to end at one, at two, at three. So um, but yeah, man, I just remember that day, and I just remember how focused your energy was. And you know, like, if I got stabbed, I don't know, I'm gonna have issue for a little bit. <laughs> like, that boy, he's like, so he's like, yeah, I just left like the hospital. I was like, what? Yeah. And then you had the art gallery, you shot a music video. Yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, you still got that power. That power is just like your focus and your drive. And, uh, but yeah, I bet when I saw that when I came in, I was just like, yo. <laughs> and we've come a long way since then, but uh, sure. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta speak. I gotta speak to Ash's point. You know? Like, um, yeah, this, this piece was in the show that I almost didn't make it to. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, y'all. I literally. And this was before. This is my very first art show. Period. In New York. my first solo show that I was gearing up for. And it wasn't at a gallery. It was like a multi-purpose space that I just rented out. You feel me? And, um, yeah, yo, I, I had a, I painted mad pieces for this show. I had like 39 pieces. So this show was like fire. My cousins came out from VA to come visit. And um, I lived, like, literally, I couldn't make this up. I lived above our limits. I lived at the end of this block. That's I, I lived there. That was my home, right? right? I used to pull. Oh, I used wow. to pull. He used to throw events in there. He put them on Facebook Live. I check into the live and walk in. Like, yeah, I was talking about this. So, wow. yeah, I used to live right there. That's so, right. I was sitting for the show. That's crazy. And my cousins came into town. And so, the day before the show, we, uh, the only thing you know, I had planned, I just had to finish a couple of paintings. Had to finish this joint, had to finish. I don't think I made the other ones actually did. But I had to finish the work, and I was going to take them and go through them with me to get an outfit for that show. So, you know, me and my uh, cousin catching up or whatever, and um, we went out and got some food, and um, you know, I, I treated my cousin and his lady that came to visit it. And so later in the afternoon, when it was time for us to go through it, this lady was like, yo, like, can you take us to an ATM when we get, you know, these money back? So I'm like, all right, whatever. So we, uh, we were all on 25th. So I'm like, let's go to the CBS. You know what I mean? Anybody who's like, you yeah, know, exactly what that joint is, right? <laughs> right about it, right about it, two, three, three. So I'm like, let's go to the CBS. So we go in there. And um, she goes to the ATM, you know, me and my cousin, we go and get snacks. And we grab, I grab some trumpets, whatever, we grab our stuff, we go to the, well, we get in line, at least. So we in line, and we're like the, like the six, seven people in line. And there's a dude right in front of me, right? He's like, he's much like, shout out to that young nigga that was in here, right? But he was in the same type of town, where he just, 
He's in his head. And he's going off and his couple at the front of the line because they're being called to be checked out, but they just engaged the conversation. So he like, hey, yo, you see me? You know, get daddy for me? Like, keep moving, right? So I think it's funny at first. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Like, and the couple turn around, they all bashful and embarrassed. Like, all right. So they're moving. And, you know, the line keep going. The couple says nothing to this dude. No one says anything to him. Right? He said what he said. They started moving. But he kept going. He just kept going. And yeah, we have a time to be dealing with you. Like, whatever, whatever. Bro, man, he just, he getting out of out of line with what he's saying. He's like, yo, you lucky I don't slap your shot, you know, he just like just talking crazy. And nobody's talking back to him. He's just having a whole soliloquy. So the line keep moving, the line keep moving. I finally get to the front because it's like three cash years, right? So I'm here, you feel me? I can get away with my truck, mates. You know, I'm, I'm the same with pretty much everybody. Hey, how you doing, whatever? It's like this older, like Spanish lady. And so, you know, she bring on my stuff. The, uh, the dude who's like being mad, like right, he's like right next to me, right? And so he uh, he's talking to his cashier, and the cashier he was like, "Hey, oh man," he was like, "I have to ask you to chill out for me. You make my customers so comfortable. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to have security take you out of here." He was like, "Nothing, man. I don't know why. Do I can do it. I want." So he pulled his phone out. He calling somebody. He's like, hey, yo, yo, so fat. He F word. He's so fat. He's trying to tell me I got to leave CVS. Woo -woo. And so he pulled his phone down. He's talking to the, uh, he talking to the cashier. He's like, yo, what's your name, fat boy? <laughs> so like, everybody was like, yo, this has been going on. At this point, like three minutes strong. <laughs> like, bro, like, just, just let it go. Like, it's not that deep, right? Yo, what's your name, fat boy? You feel me? Like, yo, let me talk to your manager. The dude was like, I am the manager. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody laughing off that. And I was just like, yo, this is guy, this is embarrassing. So, like I said, I'm, I'm buying one thing in my Toro mix. And he's still like cursing at this dude. And I just see the, the, the face of the lady who's checking me out, like, just go completely sour. Like, she's just like, it was just like, at that point, too much. She was like, and that made me feel the way. I'm like, man, this lady mad at all, bro. Like, and you cussing this dude out, like, you doing it wrong. So I turned to him, you know? I was like, hey, bro. I said, just let it rock. And I was like, it's not that deep. Who would you to tell me to rock? <laughs> like, I said, bro, we can all hear you. Like, it's not an isolated conversation you have. Like, you loud, nigga, like, just let it rock. It's not deep. So, it was, he stopped talking to me. He's still talking to the security. Security like approaching him a little bit, but still keeping his distance because this dude like is ready to pop off and beat it up, right? So I get my receipt. I'm like, alright, y'all have a good night, y'all be smooth. I walk past him, I walk past security, I walk out the door. So right outside the door is the steps to get on the train. You know I mean? So I'm, I got my throw max on the mix walking downstairs. And I get like halfway down, I'm like, I don't hear no footsteps behind me. Where's my cousin and his girl? You know what I mean? So I stop, I look, my cousin talking to the same dude. So I'm like, cuz, we out, feel me? Let's go, we got somewhere to go. So my cousin, all right, yeah. he walks down with me. We all get downstairs, you feel me? Swipe myself at the turnstile. And I go to like where the front of the train will pull up. So I'm like, I'm in the corner. Much like this. <laughs> exactly like this, kind of. So I'm standing on a yellow strip. You feel me? Like, on a little caution, yellow strip. The turnstile is probably about like, another like 150 feet this way. So I'm sitting there, I just bust open my bag of trail mix, put on the train. Like, not even 20 seconds go by, and all you hear is his footsteps. Right down the I turn and look, it's the same dude. So at this point, I'm just like, like, bro, go home. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 what are you doing? So he runs down and he stops at the turnstile. You know, he's like scanning the whole, the whole uh, like platform. Man, the whole time I'm, I'm looking at him. You know, so I'm keeping my trail mix, and I'm just looking, right? And so he see me, and he just lock eyes with me, right? He run, 
he jumps over the terrorist staff. Yeah. And so like, as this is happening in my head, I'm like, this movie ain't good. <laughs> 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 I'm like, like, what the fuck like, what are you about to do? Like, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> and then I'm eating. And yeah, like, bro, he just locked eyes with me. And he just, he just looking at me on this whole straightaway platform. It's like, like six in the afternoon. So it's a good amount of people on the platform. It's pretty packed. Yo, the man just takes off running, yelling. Ah! <laughs> Yo, so I'm like, I said, I'm in the corner. So I'm standing, I'm looking at him, and I'm just like, he's not for real, right? Because he, he had, uh, let me not skip the best point. Like, when he jumped the terrorist down, he's staring at me, you know, so he pulled a blade out of his pocket, flipping front over, right? And so, like, and I'm, I'm looking, I'm just like, like I said, like, this movie is getting spectacular. I don't know what's about to happen next. But I'm tuned in, right? So he flipped the blade, he runs, and he just screams. Ah! So he gets probably like five feet from me, he just swings, right? Mm -hmm. And so like, I just moved, like I just stepped out the way. And he swung so hard, he failed. So he like swung, like doubled over on himself in the corner. So my back is to the, the train tracks, right? I'm looking at this dude. He's my trail mix. I'm just like, yo, I'm not about to stay in this corner, right? Yo, the most Caucasian movie thing happened. So I'm looking at bro, I'm like, fuck that. I turn to run and slip and fall. So like, right there, like, I didn't get anywhere. So I'm just like, boom, and I fall. So, so now this dude's landing in the corner, right? Trying to like find to his knife. Like, I'm laying, like, this side of my body is still on the platform, this side is hanging up. And I'm trying to pull myself back up. So I finally like pull like half my body back to the platform. And as I'm like standing back up, like, he already had his knife in there. He was looking at me. <laughs> so he comes down and swing again. I put my arm in the way. So he stabbed me in my arm. I grabbed him, pushed him again, went to the other side of the platform. By the time, by the time I got to the other side, you know what I'm saying? My cousin in his show, he was already down there. He agreed to have me say that she had me a whole man. You know what I mean? So I'm like, here we are, too. And by the time I turn around, it's just like 12 police. Get your hands up. I'm like, yo, I just got stabbed. I'm good. Like, go down there. Hands up. I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, you know, I got stabbed by somebody over there with a whole knife. Hands on the ground. I'm like, the dude that was approaching me, you know what I'm saying, was disheartened to see. It was an African dude. <laughs> he kept looking over his shoulder, and he was shaking, like hard, like, get on the ground. And I'm like, oh, man, this is like, he about to shoot me. I'm like, the shy ass that. <laughs> I'm like, it's hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? I put my arm on the wall, and I'm like, look, I just got stabbed in my arm, right? Like, like get on my like, Now he got the gun like in my face. And I'm just like, all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? I get on my knees. Lay down. I'm like, Bro, I just get like, you can see the blood on my coat. I'm like, bro, I literally just can't care enough about my that. So I'm laying down, and this, uh, this was March 18th. So it, it was like snowing way back here too. So when it snowed the day before, the platform had soggy. So I'm laying there, you know what I'm saying? He cuffs me, put cuffs on my wrist. I'm sitting there cuffed for probably like two minutes. And I can just see my cousins like, you know, calm down. I'm like, you're one more person to tell me to calm down. <laughs> so, so, his, his, uh, some other policemen, they walked up, and essentially just like, all right, so like, what's, what's going on with this one, right? Because they had saw the dude, you know, still would drop his knife. Hey, yeah, what's going on with this one? And before the dude could say something, I'm like, yo, I just got stabbed. Like, tell your officer to get the cuffs off. He's like, he's been stabbed. So he's looking at his partner like, what, what did you cuff him for? And so the dude who cuffed me, he's like, all right, you can get up. So I'm like, like, bro, I just got stabbed on flat on my stomach. I said, get me up, right? So they picked me up, and now it's no exaggeration about the same amount of people that's right in front of me now. It's all cops and medics, right? Everybody just looking at me. So I'm like, what? And I'm, excuse my language, I'm cursing at this point. I'm like, is somebody gonna get a medic? Like, nigga, I'm bleeding. And so they're like, oh, uh, medic? We have a medic here? And I'm just like, I'm looking, I'm like, y'all, y'all are trash, bro. Like, everybody kept asking me what happened, what was happening. I'm like, get a medic over here first before y'all ask any more questions. Um, and they took me to Harlem Hospital. 
Ha 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 